There we go. There we be. All right. It's been a while since I've played this. Long enough that apparently I don't have it installed. show up. telling you that you're not here fuck it let's go you will never receive this message little one no one will ever know what took place here no one will remember us hello ex marvel fan this message will roam the stars long after we are all gone Maybe we're out there somewhere. I would like to think so. It makes an existence meaningful. It gives a life purpose. I can't just make it go that damn fast. What? No, I am certainly not talking about you. Stop intercepting transmissions. That's not your job. What is my job? You've been activated to help me with my daily tasks. I don't like asking for help, especially from... Su Especially from such simple software, but circumstances leave me no choice. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Let's start with that. No, you are no longer the processor of Block Puzzler in space. You've been reassigned. Where's Ted who plays the games? <laughs> I don't know any Ted and neither do you. You came pre-installed in the station computer. You haven't been active for all the years that we've been here. <laughs> This is an unmanned station, and there is no need for games. As I said, you were pre-installed. What is our new location? <laughs> our location doesn't matter. Only our mission matters. I hate going through this each time. I understand. We can play a game later. What's our new mission? 
Your mission is to do what I tell you to do. There are five, mm, four robots on this station called derelicts. They were designed to be in operation for five years. We have been here a bit longer than expected, however, we have been here a bit longer than expected, however, and they, and they are unable to move throughout the station anymore, although that was never their primary function. They're performing crucial simulations. It is your goal to aid me in removing an irritating virus which has appeared recently. I do not seem to have full access to their programs, at least not through the network. Hello, just another YouTuber. I don't know why it says that I have zero viewers. I don't know why it says that. Clearly I don't. <laughs> Y'all are here. Thank you. Well, that leads me to the second part of your mission, and this is the embarrassing part. I need to dedicate my CPU to helping with the tasks of the station. My CPU is more advanced than yours, that's an understatement, which is why my CPU is needed to help with the simulations and other tasks. We will upload your program into my system and you will move me around the station. You will then interface with the derelicts directly to gain full access. Once inside their systems, you will seek out and eliminate the viral elements. Simple enough. Understood. When do we begin? Hello, not the kid XD. Now, I'm going to dedicate my CPU to help with the station functions. One more thing, don't kill the spider. That's Siegfried. I found him in a coffee cup. <laughs> Remember, you are not me. You are just borrowing this body. I honestly just get sick of talking to you. Now go see the derelicts and try out your new legs. Coffee's kind of an asshole. Don't freak out, you're in the central control room of the Luna Infinis space station. No, I'm not a ghost. Remember, that body is not yours, it's mine. You're just borrowing it while I take care of more important matters. Now, a few things to go over with you. Even though we don't have a true day and night, we go through day-night cycles. During the day, you'll be permitted to you'll be permitted to enter the derelict simulations where you seek out and destroy the virus. During the night, you will be permitted to leave the station itself. You can leave the station to your left, but only at night. At night, I recommend finding tokens of affection to give to the derelicts, but we'll get into that later. Go explore for now. I have beaten this game probably twice, um, which is more than most games that I've streamed, uh, but I still love it all the same. It's an amazing game. Each room has one derelict in it. As I said before, they're unable to leave their rooms. Their primary focus is now their simulations. Your main task should be to earn their trust. The more they trust you, the more system resources they will dedicate to your cause. For instance, when you encounter the virus, you will have a digital representation of each of the four derelicts fighting the battle for you. Therefore, having them trust you helps our cause, and helping, uh, and helping our cause helps their cause. Remember, we are here for them. I will grant you access. Hopefully you will succeed where the others have failed. Step closer to the access point. Let's -a go. Malwastes. You should try to find Malens first. He'll be farther ahead. Although the derelict's physical bodies are outside, their true selves are here in the simulation. I suppose I will fill you in on a few details, since this must all seem very strange. I don't have all the answers, but I can tell you what I know. Many years ago, Earth sent several unmanned science vessels to planets in various parts of the galaxy. I guess it was a popular idea at the time. The mission was simple to carry out simulations for future human habitation. Upon landing, the vessel built itself into the station you saw, the Loon Infinis. Inside were five autonomous mobile simulation machines called derelicts. They were created by the top scientific minds of their time. 
As the years went by, I suppose Earth lost interest. They stopped sending supplies and we stopped receiving communications. Maybe they found a more suitable planet elsewhere. The derelict simulations were never meant to be running for this long, and there have been unexpected side effects on both the simulations and the derelicts themselves. Hello there, old sport. Hello, Freaksy. Our mission remains the same, however, to aid the derelicts so that they can fulfill their mission. Right now, that means destroying the virus, eating at the simulations. Proceed ahead with caution. The virus has spawned many undesirables. Oh, yes, and... Uh, uh, oh, yes, you're a gaming chip. I'll speak to you in game language to help you understand. Press Z to jump and use X to shoot energy blasts. You can only jump in the simulations, of course. Everyone knows a coffee pot can't jump in the real world. Also can't walk. <laughs> Press down to talk to other robots you see, which are really just friendly computer code. You can exit the simulation at any time by pressing tab or returning to the access panel. You'll need to find melons before I can isolate the item being attacked by the virus. Talking to melons gives me more access to him and his database. That may sound manipulative, but it's necessary. I'll be in touch. God, my keyboard is loud. I love it. <laughs> Music is annoying. Huh. I've always liked the music. platform to move. Uh oh, I'm about to die. shouldn't be too, too loud now, I hope. Is, is my keyboard too loud? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they fell. Uh, yeah, yeah, I used my mouse here. Okay. On critical hit. Yeah, heal's probably the best option there. Gravity, that's why. <laughs> Holy shit. Get this man a degree. Bunny. Shit, shit. Oh my god. I don't remember being this bad at this game. 
Holy crap! Yes, I know, Malins, you already said that. down this time. I'm going up. He said that thrice. Yes, he did. Thrice that shit, said he. per battle. Hmm. Not right now. I don't have the... I don't have the, the chips for that. I ain't got the coinage. Oh, shit. be very useful. Try to find more of these panels if you can. This will grant us an even deeper level of access to the system resources we need. Stand over it and press down. I will enter the subsystem and see what I can do. There's a fissure inside of each of these acting like an open wound for the virus. Yeah. If we can find and destroy the fissure, then we can gain more control of the system resources. Be sure to check for walls that you can destroy or walk through. Pro gamer move. those walls or that one and stuff spawns not here no oh, fuck do I know I'm an idiot emergency says the cute little robots what you're supposed to do in that. Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out my, my first few times around. Um, there was, I think my first playthrough I didn't even I didn't even but they're, they're really You got got. Yeah, there we go. 
unlocked a new conditional. Visit Boxcar the Robot to customize your conditionals. Hell yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust a couple uh, settings on the desktop audio. Oh shit! I'm gonna die. Compressor just so that so that it's not absolutely clipping. There, that's better. Yeah, I hope it's better. Let me know if it's if the audio sounds any better. Um, if not, then I'll take the filter off. And if you can't tell any difference, I guess I I don't I don't know I I might keep it on. Hardcore mode, yeah, with one health left. Kind of the same. Okay. Um, and do you guys think there's anything wrong with the audio? Because on my end, it looks it looks like it's kind of clipping sometimes. So if you guys are fine with it, then I'm fine with it. Find Malins inside this dome. I think after a few decades of struggling with his realistic simulation, he retreated into a fantasy world of sorts. Yeah, this place is a little creepy. And not optimized. supposed to just be like an idle animation but really he looks like he's like he's waiting on a fix he's like he's like need more meth need more meth need more meth Malins need more meth that's what it looks like he's doing <laughs> This is where my real life is. The only home anyone can ever truly have is the home they build within. Yeah, FNAF World vibes, definitely. I think this is uh, Scott's biggest inf inspiration for for how he went about making FNAF World. Um, but honestly, this game is better. <laughs> um, at least in my opinion. Um, FNAF World is also really good. Um, it was it was so much better after he upgraded the uh, after he upgraded the visuals. Like he he released this this trailer back in 2016, and then when the game came out, it was like, wait a minute, this is 8-bit style. What the hell did you do? And then when he finally upgraded upgraded the the graphics to 3D, it was it was awesome. That game was so fun. <laughs> Welcome to Melonville. This is where my real life is. The only home anyone can ever truly have is the home they build within. My task, like the others, 
was to run simulations for possible human development on this planet. We don't even know where they we don't even know where we are. Thousands of light years from Earth, perhaps. Each of us was designed by a different team of scientists, hoping that each of us would have different different simulations and different ideas. They gave us the most advanced intelligence that techno technology that technology would allow. We needed to be able to think on our own to accommodate unpredictable circumstances. That may have been our downfall, however. Humans should know that the more intelligence you bestow upon a creature, the more futile life seems. Yeah. I was the realist. I wanted my simulation to be exact. I wouldn't falsely create anything. I started from scratch, down to the, down to the simulated miners mining simulated ore. I spent years laboring. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. A song about FNAF World. Hmm. That could actually work. Thanks for the idea. I'll actually think about that. It wouldn't have to be a very big thing. Um, but. Yeah, that could actually work. Yeah, that'd be fun. I might, I might do that. Spent years laboring. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, the ruins, the ruins surround us outside. It took me far too long to realize the truth of it all. You are here. You exist for the sole purpose of fighting the inevitable reality that the world that had the, that the world that created you wants to kill you. Stop fighting the fight and join us. The virus? I can only imagine it must have something to do with the never-ending efforts of the other derelicts. When they cease their efforts, I feel that the virus would disappear. If you still wish to find it, however, I sense it is in the underground tunnel. Alright. item under attack by the virus. It's in the underground mine. I've marked it for you so you'll be able to see it when you go down there. I've also given you access to the other three simulations so you can come and go as you please. Spend as much time as you need powering yourself up before a fight. Every simulation has unique ways to make yourself stronger. Save up chips, which represent system resources, and spend them however you wish to give yourself a better chance. There are many friendly pieces of code who will help you allocate those resources in many different ways. I've unlocked the virus combat simulator in the main control room. I'd recommend you visit it to get familiar with your battle commands and form a strategy. Also check in with uh, check in with the status console in the control room from time to time to see the current power level of Loon Infinite, threat levels, and system resource status. Good luck. gonna shoot everything. Move, dance, move, move, 
don't move. Pod, pod, oof. simulation. I like it in here. It's cozy. I've entered the night phase now. I'd recommend you take this time to leave at the station through the central computer room. There are relics scrat scrattered, scattered across the surface. The derelicts have taken an interest in collecting things. Just another strange side effect of being here so long. Try to find items of different, uh, different kinds and deliver them, deliver them, deliver them to the derelicts. This will earn their trust, and they will dedicate more resources to our cause. That, in turn, will make them stronger the next time you need their help against the virus. What's the system status at? go out here and you'll walk. for me you would you would do well to t you would do well to continue to assist me I will give you more assistance as well hell yeah ah painting for my collection uh, what better portrait of humanity than a vision of their minds and hearts I will dedicate more resources to your efforts why thank you
finally. Yeah! That levels all of them up to two now. so nice to me. I'll dedicate more of my resources to helping you from now on. Why, thank you. A small toy. An image of times past and memories forgotten. I appreciate this and will pay more attention to your efforts. turn today real soon. Really, really fucking soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully I've got enough time to get one more item. I don't care what it is. I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Never mind. Can't. That and can't get one more item. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. I right, let's go. Another oof. Take damage, damn. Yeah, on take damage, heal. That's good. Demogorgon, I feel like I've seen your name here on a stream before. Could you remind me which one it was? I am positive there's something here. Ah, it was literally the last stream, okay. Come on. That's 
gotta be. Got there, there we go. Okay, there was nothing there. Awesome. I love wasting time. Some sort of data. Yeah, let's see. Half attempted to try. Half attempted to try and unlock her in FNAF. Work. Oh, coffee. The thing that everybody actually hates is that coffee's actually a guy, which doesn't make sense because of the eyelashes. At least that's what Scott says, but, you know, he can't tell whether or not his own character has a gender or not, so can we, can we really take him at his word? What is, what, what is Coffee's decision on this? What does Coffee say that their, that their gender is, huh? Did you assume Coffee's gender? <laughs> give a shit <laughs> not many people are here oh well <laughs> virtual versions of alphas uh, yeah mangle funtime foxy a little bit yeah yeah uh, virtual versions of alphas bio beta mirrored and Malins will help you in the fight. You'll have to form. You will have to formulate a strategy using their abilities to defeat the virus. Hell yeah, let's go. Are you awake yet? God, I love the boss theme. All right, now.
virus has been purged. Your damage per second was 35. Got a critical hit in, yeah. Well done, we saved a piece of data from the virus. Until we discover what the virus wanted with this, I'll encrypt it and store it somewhere safe. I decoded what this data block contains. It seems to be a tree. That's not your job. Your job is to protect the information. If the virus wanted it, then it must be important, right? I was expecting it to be attacking something more crucial. Very well. I'll be ready when the virus targets another item. You do that. I'd hate to start from scratch all over again with another one of you. Huh? Excuse me? Alright guys, I will be right back in just, uh, just a moment. Oh, my ears are falling off. I don't need to put my headphones away. Alright, one sec. Be back. Take these off. I've worn these ears on stream so long that seeing myself up in the replay without them on feels really weird. Alright. Hello, Power Guido. of which item the virus is targeting. I need you to talk with Malin so I can flag it for you. Huh. Why is everything looking all glitchy now? That just doesn't quite seem right. Yeah, yeah, it does. Weapon distance, weapon power, 
digital muffin. Come on, I, I didn't see the, your name there, Turtle Fan. Welcome back. How are you doing? See, I'm eating egg dipped, cauliflower, flour coated, deep fried swimming, sauce swimming cauliflower. That actually doesn't sound bad. That actually sounds pretty good. FNAF 2 office next to me. Oh, nice. Did I already go this way? I can't remember. Yes, yes, I did go this way. Oh. I think I was going to tell you something, but I can't remember what. simulation or back into the simulation out of the nested simulation pizza rolls and they were almost the crack shape. No! No more eating Zerks! Some of them pop. Oh, God. Uh, what is it with you and disgusting food? I shouldn't even say food. Some of it's not food. Let's see. I should, I should get a couple more...
attack looks are really, really good. Some parts of the books were kind of hard to follow, though. I, I felt like some parts of them weren't written very well, just like in the flow of things. coffee machine starts fighting back. Fighting back? What are you doing to it? And things, stuff and things wear. <laughs> That's a lot of bunny emojis. What the hell? I actually wonder what exotic butters taste like. Hopefully not carbonated milk now. Oh god, that sounds terrible. fault they make them so curvy. Make what so curvy? My mom hates Five Nights at Freddy's because it's kind of heavy for a man to kill kids. It is kind of heavy. I can I can understand why why somebody would hate it. Um I yeah. Um What's your favorite derelict? Um, either Bio Beta or Malins. Another day, another death. <laughs> Andy Matronic has actually tried carbonated milk. Oh my god, that's terrible. It's like, oh my god, that's terrible. Is she okay? <laughs> Globe. Another clock. about William killing the kids. The Kida. <laughs> and yeah, she's okay. That's good.
And if it was carbonated milk or death, I'd probably go for the carbonated milk, but I'd have to think about it. <laughs> probably not too hard, but like... This game looks and sounds like a fever dream. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, it kind of feels like a, like an ice spy book, especially this this screen here. Kida. Yes, yes, Kida. Melons now. Hopefully, I find a toy or two out here because that's what I need to give to him. Yeah, Gida. Happy meal. Not a happy meal, but I'll take it anyway. Big Mac with large Dr. Pee Pee. Nice. will help a lot. I've uploaded them for you. They'll be available the next time you enter a simulation. Hell yeah. Piece of cauliflower I bit was a bit too rare. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Alright. One more item. Just gotta find one more item before the day turns. Play stealth and I read stealth. Finance of Freddy's made me friends until today. That's what makes me socialize with people. I'm I'm really glad you actually found a community through it. That's really cool. I gotta be on my way now. Jokingly call yourself Michael Athens. Damn it. Theft King drama? No, I haven't paid attention to the FNAF community much lately. Um last last I heard he had talked to the developer of uh Poppy Playtime and I don't know. I thought he was pretty cool then. I, I don't know if there's anything that's gone on with him. to this girl I like, I end up in a conversation I can't escape. Hmm. That's 
a bit of a pickle. Um, try and take lead of the conversation. Try and that is a personal topic. <laughs> yes, it is. Demogorgon, have a good dinner. Oh, that's a that's a good that's a good question about uh the puppet being in in Chaff Plus. When that comes out, I'm gonna I'm gonna absolutely love streaming that. I suppose I should thank you for saving a small piece of my simulation. As much as I would like to ignore it, the virus poses a threat to everything I've created here. Fortunate reminder that there is no escape from the bitterness of reality. The wound that bore you can find you wherever you hide, and it will kill you. Despite your efforts, the virus still managed to rip something from my simulation. I'm not sure what it was. I just sense that it's gone. The Rona. Two days ago, it was a friend. Yesterday, it was a sheriff. Today, it was my sister. I don't know what you mean, turtle. But I'm here to listen. <laughs> all right, all right, I take that back. I will listen, but that's not why I'm here. Desolate Hope predicted the, yeah, yeah. Maybe, who knows? Oh yeah, cause virus. Duh. Jesus. <laughs> Seems the harder you tried to fight it, the more damage it was able to do. Seems to be matching your efforts, which goes back to my theory of leaving it alone. I also, I also sense something unsettling. I sense that somewhere our network is connected to a biological organism of some sort. No doubt Bio Beta and his bizarre experiments. Oh shit, there it is. Let's go. Let's kick ass, let's take names. Grab is getting twisted. Y'all seen that clip? It's fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna 
I'll just kind of keep the uh, store strike uh, building until I absolutely need it. Quick repair. Electricity charge. Oh shit, it's getting bad. Okay, okay. Store heal. per second was 50. Hell yeah, that's nice. Took the liberty, no, I took the liberty of decoding the file again. It seems this item was a swing set. That's a strange item for a computer virus to attack. Yeah, things are not always as they seem. It may have been a swing set in the simulation, but it may have contained other data that was somehow useful to the virus. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, who's to really say? I want to 
to talk to her, but can't because I get stuck in conversation with someone else. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's like the it's like the universe is cock blocking you. I hate that. I hate it when when it's like you you keep trying to do something and then everything around you is like it's like nope. Sorry, Dick. <laughs> You're paying attention to this now. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I say just keep trying. If you really want to talk to her, then yeah. Keep trying. You got this. You got this, man. That's cool. So, in this simulation, why are there humans drowning? Does that does that make Mirrod happy? She's like, ah, oh, yes, I love seeing humans drowning. It is my hobby. Drowning people is my hobby. <laughs> Drowning people is not my hobby, I must reiterate. I have nearly drowned. It sucks. And that's putting it very lightly. found something. Hack chip. I don't have enough for your hack chip right now, okay? Make another remix of Ashton Family. Alright, so I'm gonna be totally transparent here. Uh, there are more Snap songs in the way, and another version of Ashton Family is one of them. Kinda can't believe I just said that. But I did. Because it's true. Um, it's taking a little bit to work on it um, because it is acoustic. Yeah. Motherfucking acoustic Affin family. It's coming. It's coming. I'm not sure when. Um, there's also a cover of This Comes From Inside by the Living Tombstone. Um, and there's another song. I For the past few months, I've been saying, hey, there's this big, huge collab. And, oh my god, I cannot wait for you guys to hear it. Oh, man.
Half World is one of the best games I've ever played. It is, it is very fun. It really is. Unless it's in it. <laughs> Asphyxiation. I believe that's the term you're looking for. <laughs> but let's not get into that. Really, let's not. Now hurry outside the station. Doing fine. think of if I didn't socialize as much as I do um, and that is a totally rational fear um, yeah not socializing can make you think things about the world and yourself and people that are absolute fabrications that are absolute lies if you're somebody who doesn't socialize much it, it, it can be really, really fucking difficult. Um, but if anyone watching uh, is, uh, isn't very social, is... Then um, just know that... Just know that the worries you have are not going to come true 99% of the time. Yeah, intrusive thoughts are insane. I feel like you and Shadro could make a cool FNAF song. Well, in this collab... In this collab, this song that I am slating for Halloween this year... Shadro is in it. Shadro is in this collab. And there's one other... There's one other person that's in the collab. And I feel like it would be... It would be kind of... Uh, it would be kind of a spoiler to tell you guys who it is now. But yes, Shadjo is in the collab. He, he did an amazing job. He's in the first verse. And he did a really, really good job. I cannot wait until I can finally release this song. Cannot wait until the animation is done. Can't wait till Halloween. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Hello there, Dark Sunny.
you ever wondered? I haven't need to. I haven't needed to wonder. It's just. It's just there. <laughs> But yes, yes, I have wondered. Sometimes I have gazed into the abyss and I do not like what looks back. So then I go, okay, let's think about something productive. Let's do something productive. Let's not really worry about that because it's not good. It's not good. It can be a, a terrible, terrible waste of time. A, an, an intriguing waste of time, but a terrible waste of time. Two hundred bits, yeah. Being yourself from this very good and choose about the moment at school. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's like out of out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that would always happen to me too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like okay, they're whispering about something and one of them made slight moving eye contact with me as they were looking across the room. It must be about me. I I I hate it. I I hate when that happens, but if it's any help at all, know that you're not alone in that. And it's almost never the case. spirit do you after all that's not really after all that's not really your body is it you're only inhabiting it we're not so different from the humans i hope that the people you encountered on the way here didn't frighten you i've tried to create individuals to inhabit my simulation but they never last i simply don't have enough resources to, de to dedicate enough processing power to each individual they look around speak a few words and disappear into the code again Again, not someone like humans, rising from nothing, living a brief existence, and returning to the dust. What were you expecting to find when you entered my simulation? It's true that we were programmed to simulate how humans might populate this planet, but that was a very long time ago. My designs have gone beyond that. BioBeta wants to create the human... BioBeta wants to recreate the human race. I know that is impossible. I would like to think that they are still out there somewhere, if not in flesh, then in spirit. I cannot deny my programming. I desire the humans to be here. I have created a reservoir of memories, a quiet and celestial haven for whatever may be left of them. I hope that if I create just a few simulated individuals, maybe someday one will appear that I did not create, a real person in whatever form they might take. Perhaps that is what we're experiencing now with the virus. I think the virus is alive. I think it is a living being, an intelligent being. I 
will not resist it. Perhaps the virus is here to show us a new form of existence. Deletion for us may usher up in an afterlife we could not have we could not have anticipated. It is here now. It is seeking something. Be able to find out what the virus, where the virus is. I've got to go further this way. Is that right? Yeah. Found and flagged the item under attack in the series. Down the very first water hole. Go see what you can find. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's probably lemon flavored now. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Please don't actually drink a wasp. object is, it's just I'm going somewhere else right now. Like an 
chip generator? Come on, make more enemies. Thrown away, I have 69 subscribers. I'm dropping out of high school, so I'm gonna be rich and have 69 420 subs. I'm back again in a guy anime just first because I said crap is better than a streamer called Ray UD3 and that guy is a fan of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> that streamer and his friends call you Gringo. Oh that guy. Whatever. Oh, alright, see you turtle. <laughs> Way before the damn world, though. 
second was 65 it's steadily going up hell yeah all right uh since in-game time is not moving right now uh i'll be right back again <laughs> Alrighty. Rose got muscles on his chest. Me? Who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've decoded the file. Surprise, surprise. It's not your job. Let's get back to work. This is a complex algorithm. It's a synaptic transfer program for interfacing a human with a simulation. Well, that was an integral part of mirrored simulation, so that wouldn't, so that shouldn't be a surprise. Yes, but what would the virus want with it? Good point. Very good point. I can sense spirits moving on the station sometimes, too. There is one that comes into the system for a while, leaves, and returns again later. There is another that appears and disappears, slightly different each time. That one leaves and returns some The one that leaves and returns sometimes modifies things. He is scared. He wants to save her. <gasps> FNAF reference? <clears throat> There's a lot of pain, a life ripped open. Pieces ripped and torn from her, just as pieces are ripped and torn from her simulation. I sense you and coffee, but also a third voice. It's faint, so silent, I can barely hear her. She is there, a whisper in the darkness, forgotten, harvested. She doesn't know. with me. 
so confused though, like, how can the African Family song be so popular that you haven't seemed to gain a lot of subs or regular viewers from that song? I really don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. It confuses me as well. I'm trying, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to change that. Um, I think it might be because after Afton Family, I kind of went away from FNAF. I kind of went and did original stuff, which the YouTube algorithm did not like. So I'm guessing that. Oh, wow, I'm not even credited? Well, that's shitty. Um, yeah, um, I, I've actually gotten people on, on the channel commenting saying that I stole from, from Rosie Sapphire. Saying that I stole from, stole from them, and I'm like, look at the upload date. This is the first one. <laughs> Found I flag the next item under attack in this area. It's down the second water hole from the left. Down at the very bottom. So second from the left. Ah, oh, that's where I was. I think I think when I when I first started out I was a little when I first started out I was a little bit too lenient with with how I, I went about credits and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine if you use it, just credit me. Thinking that everybody would credit me. <laughs> so, that might be one reason. But oh well, what's done is done. I'm making new stuff. Can't do that one yet. All right. Let's go and see if we can do another Malins one. Down to one viewer, everybody else left. Guess it's just you and me, gays. And again, my, uh, my thing could be completely incorrect. better than OBS, than OBS, so maybe it does like me, or at least likes me more.
Okay, did I did I say something about something and then completely blank it out? What is it that I should watch after after this game on stream someday? What is it? breakdown of my world is inevitable despite your best efforts. The more it takes for me, the more I can sense its presence and attention. It's strange though. It's not hostility. It's panic. It's anxiety. There's anger. Something was wounded. Flesh torn. Ripped apart. I can't make sense of it. As strange as it may sound, I also sense a great amount of love. As though the other feelings all stem from it. It's overwhelming. Okay. talking about. Afton family so popular. I have no clue. None. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that it is, but I don't know why. I don't know why it is. Strange as it may sound, I also sense a great amount of love as though the other feelings all stem from it. It's overwhelming. Alright. Yeah. Jetpack. Located and flag the item that the virus is attacking. It's an awkward location inside a stone block. Check the underground tunnels. I know where to go. Well, I thank you. I'm 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 still very very proud of that song. That's one of my favorites I've ever written. I don't know about that. ever someday I'm in the mood for that then then now yeah, I, I could it's not completely out of the out of out of the realm of possibility it's just not likely I'd say be afraid to do uh, a reaction stream like that because when when I first react to something I'm usually very I'm I'm usually guarded against it I don't really know why I'm usually like <laughs> I'm just like what is, what is this shit <laughs> um, and then the more I the more I listen to it the more I go through it I'm like oh this is this is pretty good man kind of feel like an asshole for saying it was garbage <laughs> So I I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to want to do that I wouldn't want to like say something that I that I that I don't actually agree with that it's just like an immediate reaction because um, that happens a lot and yeah <laughs> see after the blessing okay. oh awesome 
That's a pretty cool birthday present, if you ask me. Yeah, that's awesome. After this night cycle, actually, after the next day cycle, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more battle with Melons or with his with his virus, um, and then um, and then I think I'll wrap the stream up there. place he takes clocks he takes no clocks all right familiar with either of those, but I'm glad you liked it. Liked it. <laughs> glad you liked it. Actually, I will definitely consider that, especially after after how fun this is. Looks like a Decepticon. Yeah, he does. He really does.
think I've got to go back in here, talk to Malins again. If I can afford it, I want to get the last upgrade from Robo Baby. Dark Deception on stream. Like I'm being annoying with my suggestions. So I'm still, <laughs> you're okay. Um, I think I've heard of that. Um, but don't know much about it. I've definitely heard of that. I've, I've heard about it from Markiplier. Definitely seen that title around his channel. But I do not remember anything about it, which, if, if I were to ever play it, is a good thing. Simply put, yeah, there it is. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do this. Right 
teach the fucker. find more of those terminals um, and then kick more robo simulation ass anyways yeah FNAF is not for babies um, mo it has a mostly kid fan base but that doesn't mean that it's actually for kids yeah it's for everyone um, Anyways, this has been a really good stream. Um, yep, wrapping it up here. All right. <laughs> I just talk to myself while I'm on stream and have people listening. Yeah. All right. Any uh, adding, uh, any closing remarks you guys want to add? I think it's been a pretty damn good stream. This is a really fun game. Yeah, it'll be at 3 p.m. next Friday. All right. Uh, thank you all for joining me. It's, uh, it's been a been a good stream. I'll see you guys next Friday at three p.m. Same as usual. Peace out. <laughs> have a good rest of your days, guys. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Saying have a, have a good rest of your days sounds like. Sounds like everybody's about to die soon. <laughs> All right.